Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to take a backup of specific databases in MySQL or MariaDB. So what does that mean? It means uh, if you have hundreds of databases and you would like to take the backup of maybe 5 or 10 or 20 databases, uh, you can do that. Uh, I will show you scripts uh, how that can be done. Uh, so first of all, uh, we will create uh, a directory in which uh, the, we will take the backups. Um, so let's uh, check our current uh, location. We are on the root. Uh, and we are going to create a directory called mysql backup okay so let's uh, take a look if the directory is created we can see that directory is created with the ownership of a root now what i'm going to do i'm going to change the ownership of this directory to the mysql okay so we'll do sudo ch owner so change ownership and then recursive mysql and directory okay so let's check that again if the ownership of the directory is chained we can see that it is a chained okay let me uh, clear this one so next part is the uh, we'll create a backup user that we will use to create the backups uh, for that we have to log in to the MariaDB I'm going to log in with the, my root username and password okay so we are there first of all we will create uh, a user uh, I'm going to call this user backup user so you see that create user backup user at a rate local host identify by the password okay so user is created next you will be providing some permissions to this backup user uh, I most of the time do use this user for backup and restore so I provide some basic uh, um, permissions okay the permissions are provided so now what I'm gonna do I'm going to see uh, I'll clear this one so you can see uh, show databases uh, what that will do it will show us a list of databases uh, now you can see that uh, I have tons of databases here I have a uh, uh, test database one two three four five and uh, uh, that goes in uh, hundreds uh, but what I am interested in uh, I would like to get the the backup of maybe the only the databases which start with maybe one nine okay so uh, that could be one nine uh, one one nine two so 19 and all that so uh, to get that list uh, I can uh, use some query so if uh, I use uh, some system tables uh, I'm going to run that and show you how that works so if you run this query what's going to happen so we are selecting distinct uh, table schema that's uh, uh, going to give us uh, the database name from information schema dot tables uh, uh, and uh, you can see that uh, where table name like uh, uh, one nine so you can change your query whatever you want this is the query actually that uh, is uh, going to get you or filter you the list of the databases uh, that you would like to take the backup uh, rest of the script uh, we uh, I will show you uh, step by step um, okay so uh, that's fine you can uh, if you want to sort out uh, by something different uh, maybe you know where like your database na names like this or database name uh, like till name in uh, you can provide list of three or four or whatever the database you want uh, let's exit uh, from here so let me clear this because uh, sometime in video you don't see that what I'm doing so I'm gonna exit from uh, MariaDB and uh, now uh, we are at the terminal uh, I have the script written so we are use, going to use the for loop uh, for this purpose uh, I have defined uh, some variables here so let's take a look at what those are uh, and how they work now if we start from the top I have some comments to uh, provide a username that you would like to use for the backups so in our case uh, we are using the backup user in your case it can be different so provide the whatever the backup user you have second uh, comments I have is okay you provide the password for that in our case it is a test one two three that's the password for a backup user okay next to uh, provide the backup directory path in which you would like to create uh, a new directory and backup uh, files uh, in the, my case uh, what I'm doing here so if you see that uh, I have uh, said backup directory is equal to root my uh, my SQL backups that's where we have created this directory and we would like to create a new directory every time uh, the script runs uh, so it will be date plus uh, you have date format like year month and day 
then you have t in between that and then you have time so a new directory will be created and then all the backups will be taken in that directory so check and create new directory if it does exist or not exist if it does not exist then it is going to create this uh, directory okay now we get the list of the databases um, and we have uh, so for db in uh, so i'm getting the list of the databases uh, and uh, how i'm getting it uh, i'm using uh, this uh, mysql user password and uh, then uh, uh, you can see that uh, we have a uh, using a uh, user our password and then here we have that query so the same query i showed you in mysql so i'm selecting all the databases which has uh, one nine in them but in your case uh, you might uh, want to change it to where table schema uh, that means database name in uh, abc or whatever the database name you have and then uh, you do then uh, uh, so we have a uh, take that a DB list and then perform a backup for all each of that uh, list so mysql dump then you are providing the user and here we have uh, already you know that uh, what is our user so backup user we have a password is already saved as well and uh, then uh, here that's the way our password is saved in variable on top and the database so it will get one database at a time in this variable and then um, we have a skip lock uh, tables and all that if you want to uh, play with these filters in mysql dump uh, so you can change it if you want and then that's where your backup directory is uh, so and you have uh, dollar sign db that's your going to be database name so uh, that dot sql so th this will create a database backup in this uh, newly timestamp uh, created uh, directory okay so we go and go ahead and run it and uh, I'm gonna hit enter it's gonna take some time but in our case the uh, data databases are very small so not a big deal so let's see uh, what we have here ls uh, let, me, let me clear this so now if we go here so we did ls okay uh, so cd mysql backups and here uh, we can see this directory is created and I'm gonna go and uh, check in this directory and do ls so you can see that all the backups are created and each one for those databases which has one nine so you can see one nine one and uh, one 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 nine here and uh, one nine one here so one ninety three because one nine is there so you can filter those uh, set of uh, databases uh, for which you would like to take the backup so so uh, if you look again so i'm going to go one step back a directory is created if i rerun this script a new directory will be created and the backups will be taken um, so in this case if i want to change my query a little bit i want to say okay i don't want to uh, have the backup so where they start with one nine uh, maybe they start with one nine or ninety nine so or they have actually nine nine in them so in case of that i'm just changing the query pasting it again here so you can see that uh, now I have uh, if you look at the query it has uh, 99 in them uh, and that should uh, do it so let's hit enter and uh, the backups are done let's go back ls and you can see that we have uh, two directories now so if I uh, go to the second directory I should have uh, backups here so you can see that uh, whichever has a 99 in them that's uh, the backups are created here so this is a really handy script uh, you can use it at different time i i will put uh, the link in the description so at the time of uh, uh, taking the backup for, for multiple databases uh, you can just copy paste and uh, make it work for you thank you very much for watching this video and i will see you guys uh, in next video